Here's the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. This might sound like gibberish, so let's simplify it. What the business owns equals what the business owes. Hi, I'm Nathan from Accounting University, and in today's video, I will show you exactly how the accounting equation works in five minutes. Now, let's say you inherited a flower shop from your family. You now own the family store. You also bought a truck for deliveries, and you managed two employees. In addition, you have cash on hand and inventory. So this will go under the part of the equation that you own. Store, truck, cash, inventory, and accounts receivable. Let's assign some values to this. The store is 100,000, the truck is 22,000, cash you have 8,000, inventory 1,000, accounts receivable 500. This is what you own, or what we call assets, which totals 131,500. Now, on the other side, we have what we owe, or another name for it is liabilities. To get our business off the ground, we needed a little funding from the bank. For startup costs, you owe the bank 36,000, so we call that notes payable. On top of that, we took out a loan for our truck. We call that a truck payable of 22,000. And you owe one of your suppliers $4,000 for inventory at the store. We call this accounts payable. And right now you owe your employees $2,500 for wages. We call that wages payable. As you can see, each one ends in payable. That is the key word for liabilities because it is payable. You will eventually pay it. This totals to be 64,500. So 131,500 and 64,500. Now you're probably wondering, why don't these equal? Well, in the accounting equation, we have something called owner's equity. It's the remaining amount after liabilities are subtracted from assets. Some examples of owner's equity are stockholder's equity, which you can think of it as public investment, someone investing in the company. And we have something called retained earnings, which you can think of it as savings account. It's what they retain from year to year from their earnings. Now, if you want to learn more about retained earnings, I have another whole video I did on retained earnings up above. For our example, we're not a public company, so we wouldn't have stockholders equity or retained earnings. We have something called owner's capital, and this is for smaller businesses. If we go back to our example, now we have equity. So let's go ahead and plug in our owner's capital. Now we have 67,000 in owner's capital under equity. So let's bring that down. 67,000 plus 64,500 equals 131,500. So 131,500 on the left, assets equals liabilities plus equity, 131,500. So we balanced. And this applies to all types of companies from small mom and pop shops all the way to big corporations. And we just created a mini balance sheet for our flower shop business. My name is Nathan from Accounting University and you just learned how the accounting equation works in five minutes. If you wanna take your grades to the next level, check out my Accounting Student Accelerator for 85% off in the description below. Make sure to like this video so it reaches more people and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. Until next time.